Hi, it's Juliet from My City Plants. Today I will provide the answer to the one of the most frequently asked question: Why leaves on my plant are turning yellow? This video is a part of our virtual customer support service. I explain in this video what can cause leaves to turn yellow, how to recognize and identify issue behind this. All this information will help you to figure out why the plant is showing some signs of distress. If this is your first time here, I am the founder of My City Plants. I've been working with plants for more than 20 years and ever since I have opened my plant business back in 2011. I closely work with our customers and I know very well what are the most common issues, problems and concerns they have about house plants and plant care. Subscribe to our channel today to stay on top of the best plant care practice, learn about self-watering planters, best plant care tools, how to solve the most common plant issues, decorate with plants and much more. Okay guys, let's start. If you have your plant for less than one month, most likely this is just the result of acclimation. It is very common for lower leaves to turn yellow during this period. Nothing to worry about, simply remove the yellow leaves. Once the plant is acclimated and adjusted to its new pot, home and watering routine, the yellowing should stop. So you have your plant for a while and the leaves are turning yellow. The yellowing of leaves might be the sign of a few things. Watering issue, insufficient light, lack of nutrients or pest infestation. Yellow leaves can be the result of under or over watering. To establish a proper watering frequency, I recommend testing the soil once every 7 to 10 days. Soil for plants like snake plant needs to be bone dry all the way through before the plant gets a drink. Plants like Aglaonema like to get watered when most of the soil is dry but not all the way through. Plants like Bird of Paradise prefer moist soil and should be watered when the soil is dry just halfway through. Using your finger to test the soil is common, but it does not allow you to test the soil on the lower level of medium or large plants. That is why I use and strongly recommend testing the soil with soil moisture meter to avoid over or under watering. You need just one tool for an unlimited amount of plants. Loss of leaf color, drooping and yellowing might be the sign of the lack of nutrients. If you have your plant for over a year, it should be fed. The best time to fertilize your plants is during spring and summer when the plants are actively growing and need some extra vitamins to support a healthy growth. Leaf discoloration, loss of color vibrance and shape, yellowing and sometimes droopiness may happen when the plant is not getting enough light. There are three main types of light – low light, medium light and bright light. Here is the basic definition of light intensity. Low light is when there is no sunlight in your space at all, like north-facing window or when the sunlight is blocked by the building nearby. Apartments that are facing the backyard or located on the lower floors usually don't get a lot of light. Also, an area where there is not enough natural light but plenty of fluorescent light throughout the day is considered to be a low-light environment. Important note, if in your space in the middle of the day you can't read a book without turning the light on, then it's too dark for any plant to survive. Medium light is partial, filtered or indirect sunlight. Partial sunlight when you have sun during the day for a couple of hours in the morning or late afternoon from east or west facing windows. Filtered sunlight when you have direct sunlight in your space all day but it is filtered but not blocked by curtains or blinds. Indirect sunlight is the shady area next to a sunny spot. Bright light is when you have sunlight in your space all day long, like south, southwest or southeast facing window. Remember, most plants do not like long direct sun exposure and do best in the medium light environment. If you have bright light in your space, move plants away from windows or filter the sunlight with curtains or place them in a shady area of the room. Leaf yellowing and or discoloration can be the sign of pest infestation, fungus or mold issue. Take a closer look at your plant. 
check both sides of leaves, stems and topsoil. Do you see any white fluffy spots on your plant? These are mealybugs. Do you see flat brown oval shaped bugs? Is there a sticky residue on leaves and the planter? There's a scale. Do you see web and all leaves feel like they're covered with a very fine sand? These are spider mites. Do you see black flies circling around your plant? These are gnats. Do you see white silverish patches on leaves? This is fungus mildew issue. Do you see white or yellow residue mushrooms growing on the top soil? This is mold fungus issue. Here are some extra tips for you. First is temperature requirements. Ideal temperature for plants is 65 to 80 Fahrenheit. Don't forget to rotate your plant to provide equal light exposure to all sides. Last but not least, always, always test the soil before watering to make sure it is dry enough and your plant is ready for a drink. If your plant is spotted in Lechuza self-watering planter, please watch my short video about how to water your plants in self-watering planters, where I also show how to test the soil with soil moisture meter to make sure the plant is ready to be watered. Now you know what can cause leaves to turn yellow. By the way, I have made separate videos about most common pest issues and how to solve them. You can find those videos in our house plant pests playlist. Link to the playlist is provided in this video description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any important information about plant care and much more to help your plants to grow happy and healthy. Wishing you all lots of green luck. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.